Hey, this is Ben at Iron Forge Athletics. I'm going to take you through what I do when I need to clean the group side of IFA. First thing I do, I turn on the lights and I inspect the area that needs to be cleaned. So I look and see what about I'm going to be cleaning. So I know I need to blow the floor. There's lots of, probably can't see it too bad. There's a lot of debris. And then I check the towels and make a note. Okay, so I need some towels over there. Those clean solutions look fine. Look over here. Those towels look fine. All that clean solution is good. Then I'm gonna come to the bathroom, see what's going on in here. Sink looks good. I'm a normal clean sink. I did this last night. Trash might need to be taken out. Need to clean the toilet. No, nothing in there. No hairballs. Good start. Check the office. I'm gonna need to spray and clean the chairs, that thing. Wipe down the desk. Take out the trash, making a mental note. Toilet paper products. Need to check this thing needs to be replaced. That trash needs to be taken out. So before I start blowing the floor, I need to turn the fan off. Fans off. The next thing we need to do is make sure the floor is ready to be blown. So example, this thing needs to be out of the way. This needs to be out of the way. And I also check these guys. It needs a little bit of cleaning. Can't see that. It needs to spray that down. Come and check these trash cans. That's empty. Empty. And look at retail. We're almost out of make sure these all look fine. But important here is that they only get stocked too deep. One, two, one, two, one, two. Only too deep of every kind. Prevents some of the other things that need to be uh, addressed, cleaned up, is this section over here. So if you can't lift some of the heavy weights, that's fine. Get me or, or Jordan to help you move stuff back. So those heavy guys, some of these things need to be reorganized. This shouldn't be here. Um, these should be organized. So before, after. Same thing with this, all the weights and numbers need to be forward. So before, after. One of the easiest ways to go about making sure this build, this place looks pretty good is to inspect the equipment and wipe some stuff down. So if you look, that looks pretty nice. There might be sometimes black spots. Here's a quick example. The black spot's gone. Looking at the bottom, making sure there's no cobwebs, dusting, making sure that these are solid, nothing's dusty, no cobwebs, turning everything on just to make sure the battery works, the battery starts, checking all the batteries. That works, etc. Stuff like that. Perfect. And then uh, over here, just making sure that it's generally organized before, after. I'm 
Another simple way to keep things organized and clean is to move whenever the rings aren't being used, move them against the wall like that. And the next part is just doing the hard work. Let me take you through that. Starts by getting this guy. So what's important in here, and you want to have a rag, clean solution, glass cleaner, pullable scrubber. Some good things to have to check. Uh, the keys to the soap dispenser and paper towels. A brush in case you need to wipe some bird poop off the floor. Uh, trash bags to replace trash bags. And uh, it's also important to have spare Glade plug-in uh, pieces because those are occasionally out. So I'm just going to throw a couple. And if you, if you want to be healthy and safe, wear some gloves. It's always recommended. There's the gloves. Feel free to wear gloves. And here is the replacing the clean solution. So if we need to fill up a water bottle or a spray bottle with disinfectant, let me show you how to do that. take my funnel, pop it in, add about half, a third to half bottle of this stuff, not that much, and the rest gets filled up with water. Let me show you how I do that. Put this in the sink. Turn it on, rotate it. That gives the appropriate disinfectant ratio. So just fill that up until this water line right there. See how it gets to the top of that? Perfect amount. All right. Take some of this. Spray just enough to get it saturated. Paper towel. And wipe this sucker down. Sometimes there might be some pretty gross stuff. I gotta get some Clorox. This is a total ball cleaner. And scrub this. So let's give that a good spray. Look at this. Nice wipe down. Clean all the pour parts. Handle. Basin. And the nozzle. Nice and clean. Help it. Also a good idea to use one of these guys to wipe down all knobs and pieces that people touch. For everything on this side. Sometimes you'll find stuff like this. Dead cockroach. You've got to... Sometimes you just have to get over some of your fears. It's dead. The vacuum won't pick it up. So you might have to just use a paper towel and get that sucker. So one more thing. Uh, before, you, before you blow uh, and clean the floor, all the equipment on that side and this side needs to be brought into the grass. So this is before. This is after. That thing is really heavy. So I'm gonna show you how I move it. And if you need someone to help you, uh, please get someone to help you. Ask for help. That's too terribly heavy, just kinda of awkward. Like me. <clears throat> and that is what the floor should look like. 
before you blow. And to blow, we walk over here to use this guy. Here's the extension cord. The way that this works, you grab the end of the extension cord, take a little bit, stick it through. That way it doesn't come out when you're using it. Plug it in. So you gotta blow the whole side and you also have to blow this side. So that starts off looking like this. Once you finally have everything blown into two corners, I like to blow everything on this side into that corner right here and just vacuum up on the floor. And on this side, I like to try to blow everything into not much a corner, but this section of wall. So try to blow all the stuff in between here and here and just vacuum all that stuff. So let me show you what that looks like. And while you're doing this, where's the fan? The fan should be off. I said you might need this to clean some spots off the floor that the scrubber doesn't get. Let me show you. She's currently scrubbing the floor, but here is a spot that was kind of missed by the scrubber. So what we do is you get some of the solution, spray it a couple times, use this brush, just this one, this one's in that basket. Don't use this for anything else. And scrub. And then, and so you can't see anymore. And then wipe to make sure that it's gone. I'll give you another example. Here's a good example. You can see there's a little bit of white. No white, white. So I'm gonna Spray that down a bit.
So you're done vacuuming or cleaning the floor and now it's time to clean the cleaner. First thing we do here in this box, this green box, grab something that looks like this. Step one. So you've just finished scrubbing the floors. You just grab this thing. First thing you do, exactly. You take the extension cord off, you pull this thing up, throw that on, and then we take it for a little spin. We're gonna go outside. First thing we gotta do is make sure we have our keys or whatever we need to go outside with. If you want, you can open that door. I have my wallet on me. So the next thing we need is that hose. Grab this hose. Pop it on top. Okay, so we're gonna clean this thing. I have my wallet. Okay. Carefully roll this guy outside. This is the hardest part, is rolling it downhill. You just roll it till it's right there. You take this hose, this black hose, lean it over the side, Ugh, let all that nastiness run out. This is probably the most intricate part. You take this hose over here, and now that it's actually starting to get, um, we can probably start leaving the hose outside. Hook up the hose. Turn on the hose. First thing we gotta do. Is spray out this stuff. Make sure that runs clear. Hose off the fan blade. Just a quick rinse. And then the next part is filling this with the hose until that water line gets to the top. <laughs> so the next thing is to take this bag and rip it open. There's a little notch right there. Ripped open. And then carefully place it And you take this back. This part's important. You have to plug this guy in there so he's nice and tight, otherwise, you'll get your feet wet. And then we turn off the hose, wrap the hose up, and take this thing inside. This needs to be clean. This needs to be filled with the appropriate liquid. I'm gonna show you how we do that real quick. Start by opening this door, pull up the chain, and then I'm gonna take this bucket outside that hose. Turn on the hose. Clean out the junk that's in there. Not all the junk will come out. You get as much dirty stuff as you can. Fill it with water. Fill it with water. Put it back inside. A splash of that good stuff. Set this guy on top. Put the mop back in. Floor is ready to be mopped. Hey, this is Ben at Iron Forge Athletics. I'm going to take you through what I do when I need to clean the group side of IFA. First thing I do is turn on the lights and inspect the area that needs to be cleaned. So I look and see what about I'm gonna be cleaning. So I know I need to blow the floor. There's lots of, probably can't see it too bad. There's a lot of debris. And then I check the towels 
and make it know, okay, so I need some towels over there. Those clean solutions look fine. Look over here. Those towels look fine. All that clean solution is good. And I'm gonna to come to the bathroom, see what's going on in here. Sink looks good. I'm normal clean sink. I did this last night. Trash might need to be taken out. Need to clean the toilet. No, nothing in there. No hairballs. Good start. Check the office. I'm gonna need to spray and clean the chairs, that thing. Wipe down the desk. Take out the trash, making a mental note. Toilet paper products. I need to check this thing needs to be replaced. That trash needs to be taken out. So before I start blowing the floor, I need to turn the fan off. Fans off. The next thing we need to do is make sure the floor is ready to be blown so example this thing needs to be out of the way this needs to be out of the way and i also check these guys it needs a little bit of cleaning can't see that it needs to spray that down come and check these trash cans that's empty empty and look at retail. We're almost out of. Make sure these all look fine. But important here is that they only get stocked too deep. One, two, one, two, one, two. Only too deep of every kind. Prevents some of the other things that need to be. Uh, addressed, cleaned up is this section over here. So if you can't lift some of the heavy weights, that's fine. Get me or, or Jordan to help you move stuff back. So those heavy guys, some of these things need to be reorganized. This shouldn't be here. Um, these should be organized. So before, after. Same thing with this. All the weights and numbers need to be forward. So before, after. One of the easiest ways to go about making sure this build, this place looks pretty good is to inspect the equipment and wipe some stuff down. So if you look, that looks pretty nice. There might be sometimes black spots Here's a quick example. The black spot's gone. Looking at the bottom. Making sure there's no cobwebs dusting. Making sure that these are solid. Nothing's dusty, no cobwebs. Turning everything on just to make sure the battery works. That battery starts. Checking all the batteries. That works, etc. Stuff like that. Perfect. And then uh, over here, just making sure that it's generally organized before after another simple way to keep things organized and clean is to move whenever the rings aren't being used move them against the wall like that and the next part is just doing the hard work let me take you through that starts by getting this guy. So what's important in here, and you want to have a rag, clean solution, glass cleaner, 
toilet bowl scrubber. Some good things to have to check. Uh, the keys to the soap dispenser and paper towels. A brush in case you need to wipe some bird poop off the floor. Uh, trash bags to replace trash bags. And uh, it's also important to have spare Glade plug-in uh, pieces because those are occasionally out. So I'm just going to throw a couple. And if you, if you want to be healthy and safe, wear some gloves. It's always recommended. There's the gloves. Feel free to wear gloves. And here is the replacing the clean solution. So if we need to fill up a water bottle or a spray bottle with disinfectant, let me show you how to do that. I take my funnel, pop it in, add about half, a third to half bottle of this stuff. Not that much, and the rest gets filled up with water. Let me show you how I do that. Put this in the sink, turn it on, rotate it. That gives the appropriate disinfectant ratio. So just fill that up until this water line right there. See how it gets to the top of that? Perfect amount.